For years, you probably heard about the promise of augmented reality technology, where a virtual screen could be worn on your head with a lightweight pair of glasses. Well, when Xreal reached out to me to partner and sponsor today's video, I was skeptical at first that this technology even worked. But after using these glasses, I walked away with a completely different take. The augmented reality world is already here, and the tech is surprisingly good. So what exactly are Xreal glasses? Well, the concept here is actually pretty simple. Think of them like a lightweight monitor that you can wear on your head that can connect to devices to show you a augmented reality overlay of that user interface. Now, you're probably used to the idea of these kinds of virtual reality headsets that are really big and really bulky. You gotta charge them, you gotta store them somewhere, and they take up like a lot of space and all that stuff. But that's not necessarily what's going on with these glasses. As soon as I saw the box, I was surprised with how small the packaging was for this headset because I was so used to the bulkier headsets that are available on the market. So when I found this slimmed down carrying case and opened it up, I was already impressed by the relatively slim pair of frames that really wouldn't look too out of place if you just wore these as regular glasses. Like I have them on my head right now and they just look like glasses to me. The biggest indicator that they're not regular glasses are these dual micro OLED panels, uh, which are above each eye. And then of course you have some other details like these buttons on the underside of the frame. Uh, one of these toggles the display on and off. And then the other buttons are to increase or decrease the brightness. And they even have these little speaker grills on the back over here. So they function not only as a display, but also as a pair of headphones. So how are the Xreal glasses accomplishing such a slim design when other headset makers are struggling? Well, I think this is, to Xreal Air's credit, the simplicity of the design. Apart from the micro OLED displays, which is actually really high tech, the speakers and the sensors for head tracking, there actually isn't any onboard processing done on these glasses, and there's no battery in these glasses either. Rather, the Xreal Air glasses rely on connecting and enhancing the experience to existing devices you already own, like a Mac, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, a Windows computer, and even gaming consoles. And it does this by basically projecting this image onto the glasses so you can see all the content from the device you're connected to. But at the same time, it's a transparent window. So it's kind of hard to demo this, but let's say like if you're looking into these glasses and you change the focal point of your literal eye, like you're looking at something up close, like the window in front of you, but then you look farther away, you can see past these virtual windows into the real world. It's really cool. And you can fine tune this pretty well. If you want less immersion, you can lower the brightness. And for a more immersive experience, you can increase the brightness to reduce that transparency effect. If you really want to block out the outside world, the Xreal glasses even have an attachment for blocking out light, which can really help simulate watching movies or playing games on a big movie theater screen. And it does this all through a single USB-C connection that goes right into the frame of the device. Meaning that for most connection use cases, you can actually power the Xreal glasses just through that single USB-C connection, which for some devices gives you a really easy setup experience. All I had to do was plug the Xreal Air into my MacBook Pro through the USB-C port, and right away, the device was recognized by the Mac and instantly showed up as a secondary monitor that I could connect to. It even had its own settings in the display settings area in Mac OS. And that's actually a really good way to initially think about these glasses if you're trying to imagine how it is using them. Uh, think of them like a portable monitor that you wear on your head that you can simulate to get like a really big 201 inch display. And for the most part, this is the use case that blew me away the most with the Xreal Air AR glasses because that is what allowed me to take my MacBook anywhere, like a coffee shop or an airport, and get a really big display without literally lugging around a giant external monitor. Yes, I've seen those people at Starbucks before. It's it's a, like they're they have like a huge monitor set up and they're like playing like a game and it's it's weird. Like you could just bring these, you could stay incognito, 
got a huge display in front of you and no one even knows. And that's what I kind of did. I was able to put my Mac display directly on these glasses and simulate a really big display experience. So not only did this allow me to sit up straight and stare forward like I would with a regular monitor, like for better posture, but it also allowed me a big enough display to have multiple windowed applications open comfortably at once. And for really focusing, I could full screen apps like Final Cut Pro and get a giant display to edit video footage on. I could also choose whether or not I want it to mirror my MacBook display or for even more screen real estate, I could actually treat these glasses as their own separate monitor for a multi-monitor setup. Because this is an AR experience and not a virtual reality one, it works quite well because you can still see the real world. So if I'm switching between the virtual display and the MacBook display, well, I could just glance up to see that big virtual monitor and then glance back down to see my real MacBook sitting right there. And that's great because sometimes you need or want to look down directly at the MacBook to interface with the keyboard or trackpad. If you're wearing a virtual reality headset, it would be a little bit hard to do that. Now I gotta say, when I was using this virtual monitor, I immediately thought to myself, it would be great if I could add more virtual monitors onto the glasses. So if I turned my head, I could see another virtual external monitor and kind of make like a huge virtual workspace. Well, thankfully, after some quick research, uh, this is actually a feature that is on beta on the Mac through the Nebula app. And once you download that app, you have the option to have up to three separate virtual displays on these glasses and, and the head tracking works and everything. So if you look to the right, you see a virtual monitor. If you look center, you see one. If you look to the left, you see another one. It, it, it really works surprisingly well. It's a really cool effect and it simulates like a three monitor setup. And you can even customize the distance and scale of these virtual displays and even change the angle of these displays to your liking, almost like you were physically adjusting the physical monitors yourself. It was a really cool experience to have this connected to my MacBook Pro and then instantly have three giant displays in front of me where I could put these up as virtual desktops and multitask in between all of them. It felt like being able to fit like three 32 inch external monitors directly into my pocket and take them with me anywhere, anytime. Of course, these glasses are far more than a Mac accessory because just like the simple connection you can get on your Mac, you can also get that same kind of external monitor experience with devices like the iPad because you can supply power just through using uh, an iPad with a USB-C port just like the Mac can. Now, not all devices have a USB-C port and not all devices can, you know, give external power to these glasses. So you're probably wondering, how am I going to connect these glasses uh, to a device like an iPhone? Well, thankfully, Xreal Air thought of that too. And they actually added an additional battery pack that also has an HDMI port adapter. So as long as you have a lightning to HDMI adapter, you can even plug these glasses directly into your iPhone to simulate a big iOS-like experience. And I found that actually really great to use for watching videos on the iPhone, especially because you can really simulate a big screen experience. And that's kind of one of the weaknesses with the phone is that the screen really isn't all too big. So it felt like you could just take a movie theater in your pocket. But by far one of the coolest use cases for x glasses that I've been using is for gaming. Yeah, these things can actually hook up to a gaming console, like a PlayStation 5, a Nintendo Switch, and they can even directly connect into the Steam Deck. And if you use that included blackout adapter, like I mentioned before, you can get a really immersive experience when playing games. Like I was playing through Resident Evil 4 on this, and it felt like I was just in like a big movie theater playing this game, and I felt super immersed. And then another cool thing about this is because uh, you're wearing this on your head, you can kind of look anywhere and see the game. Now, if you're lazy like me, the first thought you have is, wait a minute, I'm gonna go lay down on the couch, look directly up to the ceiling and play a game. And yeah, it works. So you get like the super chill and super comfortable way to relax and play games. Now, I kind of saved like the best part of these glasses for last. And I think that's the value. Yeah, when I first heard about these glasses, I was thinking they were going to be really expensive, but they aren't. They're only $379. And when you look at the tech in these AR glasses and compare them against something 
even as simple as like an external monitor, it's kind of crazy the amount of tech and the display quality you're getting out of these small frames with those micro OLED displays. The value for $379 I think is pretty insane. Not to mention how useful they can be whenever you need a bigger screen on the go. So yeah, these glasses have kind of provided a real glimpse into the future of how AR technology can be useful for a heads up virtual display and how you can fine tune that experience to be completely immersed in entertainment or more connected in the real world by being able to see a virtual display without completely losing context and sight of what's behind it. So these X-Real Air glasses are really impressive. And if you want to check out augmented reality technology today, you gotta check them out. So if you wanna get your own pair, check out the link in the description. And hey, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give me a like. If you wanna see more, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.